What is up everyone, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to WWE 2K24's My Rise uh, un Undisputed. The other one I think is Unleashed. But we're back on the Undisputed side, and we have Troy Simpkin, Justine, and it looks like these exclamation points. Okay, so this is probably the main story. These fists are side stories. So let's see what Justine has to say. Champ, apparently Tony D'Angelo thinks you cut in line at catering. Frankly, I hope you did. In my day, there were perks to being champion. Ugh, but this new generation of snowflakes thinks they've had their rights infringed upon if they've got to wait two minutes for a turkey burger. I'd love to see you take D'Angelo on and remind him of the hierarchy around here. Make it a chairs match. So he doesn't forget the champ doesn't just eat when he wants, he sits where he wants too. Yeah, so these side missions, these side missions help build up your character for the main missions. Um, and I well, might, if, if nothing happens, I'll we'll probably just cut these, these the out. Champ. champion he's supposed to set the example he is why else would you want to be champion if not for the perks uh glory honor and the best piece of prime rib i'm about to say you, you think roman reigns eats the the scraps no roman eats the best that's there and then we at the head i mean we at the rest of the table we get what's left you know what i'm saying Tony D'Angelo is going to have to learn a little bit, of, learn a little lesson from me. Looking like you straight out of Grand Theft Auto. Get up. I'm about to say, I'm not going to stop hitting you till you dodge it. So you better get up. You mad because I skipped you in line, boy? There's only, look at that, the chair is ruined now. Look at that chair. It's ruined. The only one who can get in front of me is the head of the table. You understand me? Are you Roman Reigns? Uh-oh. Hey, hold on, dog. Hold on for a second. Like I was, what? I reversed. Oh, you taunting now? You taunting now, bro? Get up. I don't, your, last I checked, your name won't roll me. Oh, wait. Oh. I mean... Dented and broke a chair over you. Next time, just take the second spot in line, bro. The undisputed WWE Universal Champion with another victory. Will you listen to the ovation from these ham and eggers? How can they love this guy so much? I bet Tony D'Angelo will be giving his associates a real earful about this loss. I mean, think about it. You talking about ham and eggers? I ain't gotta. I ain't gotta say it anymore. I said it already. You know the tribal chief provides for the for the table. You know what I'm saying? So so long as you got a seat, you eat. Ten attribute points. Tavish, what do you gotta say? Hello, champ. I hope you're forgiving all time I'm putting in your business. But it seems you've got yourself an Irish storm brewing. Seamus has been telling everyone your reign is about finished. Now, my fighting days may be behind me, but there's no way I'd let a comment like that stand. I reckon you show that Irish warrior you're not close to finished in a finisher match. I've never really heard of a finisher match before. Uh, I can only assume... It's 
of whoever gets their finisher the first wins. As each is for that to and if that's the case, I think you already know what's going to happen, boy. Hold on. How's that a bro kick? If you think I'm afraid of Sheamus, this man flipping backwards. You think I'm afraid of that? Firm control. Oh, a to the face. I mean, I got the tribal chief in my corner. Why would I be afraid of this guy? You already stunned. No, you don't get to roll out the ring. Wow. Uh-uh. It's going to be hard to do some kicks when your leg aching, ain't it, boy? Get up. Get up. You can't even stand up. You talk about my reign is over? Yeah. I had a ring though. What, what you got? You rolling out the ring. He's trying to intimidate his opponent one more time, but he's got to strike soon. Oh, you gonna get a weapon, huh? I guess he thinks the one thing missing in this match. Yeah, back out this ring. Just an overwhelming amount of offense on him. Training, strategizing, and execution. I ain't say you can bring a weapon here right now. I didn't say you could bring a weapon here. Get up. Lined him up. Boom. Ouch. Nope. What? Denies the attack. Seamus doing what he can do to stop the beatdown. Hey, bro, let's talk about this. Search dead in its tracks. I'm just being tossed away there. It couldn't have felt good being tossed. Who you you taunting, boy? Yeah, get on up. And just like that. Just like that. For now, Saxton, the WWE Universal title puts a target on his back every time he even enters an arena. If I know anything about Sheamus, this loss is going to add more fuel to his fire. Doesn't matter. The only one who's worthy of a title shot right now is in Hollywood being better than Dwayne. You understand? Well, let me let me not talk about Dwayne because he's family too. You know what I'm saying? So 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 he's 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 proven though that he is the head of the table. You know what I'm saying? Let me do this right here. What? Only one? Can I at least get striking up? No. Well, I'd rather get my resilience full before anything else. So We'll go with that. And now we're moving on to the next story quest. Wait a minute. We got some social media stuff here. Strong showing. I'll be honest. I was at the edge of my seat the whole time. I'm sure Tony D'Angelo and everyone else getting the, got the message. Champs get their own line here. I mean, Seamus sure got served your finishing move on a silver platter. You showed him what it means to reign supreme. Keep unleashing that killer finisher, and no one will ever doubt you again. Well played. Nice. Nice. And, 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 and hopefully Seamus and Tony D'Angelo will know. I, I, I speak for the... Well, I don't speak for the tribal chief. Let me not, let me not get ahead of myself. But you know what I'm saying. Once, once Roman, once the chief beats Cody Rhodes at WrestleMania, then the world will know the truth. Well, well, well! All hail the conquering hero, Troy. 
What's got you so excited? Other than I finally got that promotion to producer? Probably the fact that your stock is on the rise, too. The response to your TLC match with KO was off the charts, and you've been on a roll ever since. I know my boss, Miz, has been taking notice. Okay. So what do you and Miz have for me tonight? Network sweeps are coming up, so we need to pop a big rating. And with your newfound popularity around the office, Miz has something very special planned for his undisputed WWE Universal Champion. That is the kind of cryptic answer that makes me uneasy. And when I'm uneasy, I get on edge. And when I'm on edge, that makes me want to go out there and create some chaos. Do you want me to create some chaos, Troy? Yes! That's exactly the kind of programming we want during sweeps. So head out to the ring, and we'll get to see how your chaos and Mrs. Big Surprise play out. I can either say I work on my own time or I head out to the ring. Obviously, the Miz doesn't want to. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm assuming I work on my own time will just make me go back so that I can do side quests that may or may not be there anymore. So since I've already done them all, well, actually, let me find out if that's true. I appreciate that the Miz is used to people jumping when he asks how high, but I work on my own time. I'll let you know when the champ is ready. Fine, but we only have a limited window for sweeps. I majored in TV and film. Don't wait too long. Yeah, so it just it just takes you back so that you can make sure, oh yeah, that's right. Oh, we've already done this. Yeah, we've already done this. I've already done this quest. I think this one, however, I don't think I did, right? This is when I was like, it's, it's obviously a trap. Yeah, so I, I'll go ahead and see what this one's all about. Absolutely, if they're actually not naming... Yeah, because they're supposedly naming a ring after me. So I guess I'll, you know, see what this is all about. But I have a feeling it's a trap. You know, I have a feeling the Miz set something up. And I'm going to get ambushed backstage or something like that. Justine? Well, if it isn't the champ. This is a fun surprise. They didn't tell you I was coming? Huh. Anyway, just down to do the honors and cut the ribbon on the new Dark Horse ring. The what now? The ring you're naming after me. To inspire the recruits. To do what? <laughs> Get ridiculously swollen heads? I mean, why stop at a ring? Maybe we should rename WrestleMania Dark Horses Wrestling Rodeo. I know you ain't talking about big heads. Let me stop. Do we do we need to go back to last year, Justin? Uh, okay, I think there's been a bit of a mix-up. Yeah, last I checked, one lucky win doesn't make you wrestling royalty, even if it did happen in a title match. Lucky? You're saying I got lucky? I'm saying you've spent the majority of your time here as a mid-tier superstar. I'm going to base my opinion of you on that. Not the five minutes you've been champion. No one's taken the title off me yet. Oh, between the parking lot and here? Wow, impressive. You had the, you had the scheme to beat your own niece. Like... Bro, what is with the disrespect? I'm not hiding from anybody. Maybe you should. Your luck could run out just as fast as Fortune smiled on you. I mean, no offense, but I'm training guys here who could give you a run for your money. Pick your best one and have them meet me in the ring. Sure. I just hope you can find it without your name being on it. Oh, you got some nerve. Let me make a call to Roman right quick. Yeah, did you hear what? Get hold on, y'all. I'll be right there. Let me talk to Roman right quick. All right, 
he told me to just whoop this dude right here. So that's what I'm going to do. He told me to give this dude a beating to show everybody in this locker room that the, the, the tribal chief and the bloodline are nobody to joke around with. Get up. I done busted you open. This practice and I busted you open, boy. He must be a giant because I can't knock him over with a regular running attack. You are the best. You're the best just thing has. Let me let me open you up a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Since you since you since y'all wanna talk so much trash, since y'all wanna make a joke out of this. This ain't no joke. This is I'm the I'm the universal champion. Get up. You sweating out through your tank top, you bleeding. What? I'm the tribal chief's enforcer. Mm, kneecaps gone. And for someone your size, that's not really good because you need your kneecaps. Well, actually, anybody would need their kneecaps. Get up, boy. Let me let me give you a couple of hits to your jaw. Get up, I said. Get up. What you what you stand down there for? Your head is red. I know. Uh oh. Nah. Nah, you gotta do better than that. You gotta do better than that, my friend. Get up. Don't be wiggling on the ground. I know it hurt. I know it hurt. Mm. Mm. Now, do yourself a favor and don't kick out. You see that? Now, you tell me. Hold on, y'all. I gotta make a call. I gotta make a call. Yeah, I whooped him up, man. I cut him open, so they they said I went too far. But you know, it's 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 all good. All right. So they're saying bland opening is still available. Hey, when did you get in? This morning. Now, care to explain why I just flew down to Florida to embarrass myself and convince a whole class of trainees that I have an ego bigger than your bosses? Uh, apparently, the WWE social media account got hacked and reached out to various superstars via DM, you being one of them. It's a massive disaster. We've all got to start using this two-factor authentication stuff. There's an app and a little dongle thing I've got to plug into my computer. I have to change my password now because Troy Demand 1996 doesn't have symbols in it or something. Have you changed it already? Because if not, then uh, where's your office, my boy? And you have a champion who got embarrassed by fake messages. Remember? How could I forget? You're the one who got us into this whole mess. What? You're blaming me for this? No, but kind of. I mean... Do you give money to every Nigerian prince who slides into your DMs? You should have smelled something fishy there. What are you talking and about? Now everybody in the company, including me, has to go through all this hassle just because you were too gullible to realize you were getting matfished. The messages came from the official WWE account. Yeah, and it's a good thing they didn't ask you to pay for your travel by sending in random gift cards. Look. You're not the first wrestler to do something remarkably stupid. But when Seth Rollins got himself sprayed in the face with green slime, it really only affected him and a couple people in janitorial. You basically sprayed the entire company in the face with green slime. So don't be surprised if you're not everyone's favorite champion right now. Wait a minute, what do you mean Nigerian prince? Like, that's... Is that not racist? That's not racist. So you say only Nigerians pu pull these scams off? Is right. that what you're trying to say? Thanks, Troy. You're welcome. And before you leave today, make sure to pick up that dongle. So it was a hack. I figured it was fake, but I thought it was the Miz. JD McDonough, how's the PC? Did they let you keep the giant scissors? funny 
I was hoping I could have convinced you to send a video message thanking WWE for for the honor. I never thought you'd actually f fall for it and go all and go all the way down there. So JD, so JD hacked his boss's Twitter account. You were the one who was messaging from the WWE account, but you and I have some unfinished business. Is that been a pyramid scheme you let yourself get sucked into? Sucked up in? No, no. You and me tonight on SmackDown. No, five, no titles, no cell phones, no more hiding behind social media games. Just you and me, face to face in the ring. Laugh all you want, but your time is running out. Sure, no matter what happens, it was totally worth it. You realize you could, you actually should be fired for this, my friend. You hacked a WWE account. McDonough doesn't seem like he knows how to set the clock on his microwave, let alone pull off a sophisticated internet scam. It's not hard to send a DM. Get off me, boy. Really shouldn't be that easy to fall for one either. The Dark Horse better hope he can do something in the ring to make us forget his stupidity outside of it. Boom! Man, shut your mouth, Corey Graves. If I go back there and stick you in the mouth too, he's been talking to you like that. I didn't say you could. Uh, oh, These two have get up off me, boy! And that will begin to test McDonough's composure. If he can hold the line, I said, get up. Good position. Right to the gut. What's wrong? You can't stand up no more. Here comes the pitch. Home run. I made you do a plum backflip, son. A backflip. Uh-oh. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. Damn. Right in the face. See, see, was it worth it, bro? Was it still worth it, son? No? High angle belly and back suplex. McDonough. Like you didn't the ring because I don't think right it was now. worth it, huh? JD's got to find his spot and take advantage. Sure, he's popping himself up, but he's also giving his opponent a chance to recover. This man out here on the floor, he ain't trying to recover. Get up. Artificial walking speed. Guys, it's great to be back on SmackDown. It always feels like home here. Cool, Isn't that Triple H? Yeah, oh, look, look you busted open legs. now. This match is brutality starting to show on him. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Burning hammer. Get up. He's definitely being the aggressor here. Yeah, he is staying steady. He blocked and that? Uh-uh. Wow, what a kick. Bang to the Ooh. Oh, ouch. Get on that kneecap. I bet you won't be messaging me like that no more. The Enforcer! Inconceivable. How does this guy keep beating the odds? I don't believe it. It sounds like he had money on his opponents or something. Start believing, Corey. This is what you get when you have complete confidence and control of the situation. Man, I meant to tell you guys, uh, I might be in some trouble with this game. I started playing my faction for the first time. Um, mainly because I watched someone else play it on Up, Up, Down, Down. They talked about um, my faction and they was like, you should try it out. So I tried it out. And I'm going to tell you, I have to, I, I'm starting, I'm actually starting to like it. Way better than universe mode. Not gonna lie. Um, is that it for the social media? It must be because I got my um my points. Troy the man nineteen ninety six. Did you just post your password? 
You just got that one memorized. Oh, I just got that one memorized. He posted his password in the chat. Unfortunate. And I think that's everything, right? Yeah. So now I can go on with the main, which is Monsters Among Men. Interesting. Well, well, well. All hail the car. Yeah, we've already done Other this. We've I already seen okay. it. Okay. That is. Yeah. Troy, I will head to the ring, and I don't care what Miz has up his sleeve. I'm going to tell your boss exactly what I think of him, and his big plan for sweeps. Great. Sounds like raiding. Monster among men. Max upgrade is twenty-two. Men's Roman. Movie set, men's Roman movie set pants, and Roman movie set shoes. Well, let's get to it. I wonder what happened to AJ Styles. I don't really see him that much anymore. According to backstage sources, the Miz has something special planned for the WWE Universal Champion. That Miz is willing to let bygones be bygones after all this guy has done is honestly inspiring. What a leader. I haven't been on SmackDown very long. But if there's one thing I've learned, it's that when our GM has a must-see announcement, it's generally bad news for me. So, Miz, I'm not going to sit back and wait for you to try to pull one over on me. Whatever big surprise you have planned, I'm ready for it. Right now. Got to admire the champion trying to do things on his own terms. Come on, Miz. What do you got? If Miz was expecting to intimidate him, it doesn't seem to be working. Fire and brimstone. It's Kane. Kane? Big surprise. Kane is in the ring with a huge right hand. So you gotta jump me, huh? Kane's got it by the throat. Oh no. Say good night, champ. Low blow from the champion. Where the heck is he going? When you're on the defensive against Kane, anything goes. All right, here we go. This is a no disqualification. Uh -oh. match. Anything goes from here on out. Weapons, get up, boy. Irish with Kane. It's all in play. And Irish with what? Kane near the out. Are standing by. And we might be seeing a competitor crumbling before our very eyes. This has to be stopped. The cumulative damage here is going to have long term effects. And he's able to fight. You think Kane I care if it's Kane? What you got, boy? Get out of this ring. Now I have to Irish right whip him while well out here, huh? Kane is losing grip with the Irish whip. Kane reverses and oh my goodness, did you hear the ring steps? They heard that in Syracuse. Stop trying to suck up to Cole Saxton. This has to stop. The WWE Universal Champion needs medical attention. No, not this. Not the choke slam on the steel steps. Straight to champ. This is horrific. It serves him right. He said he was ready for whatever Miz had planned. That kind of hubris has consequences. Yeah, but Speaking you gotta jump me though. I wonder if the Miz understands the ramifications of what he's unleashed. I don't think he does. The big red machine has his demented eyes set on becoming the next WWE Universal Champion. Buckle up. This is going to be one ride. Man, ain't nobody stunting Kane. Ain't nobody stunting Kane. He had to jump me from behind in order to even get to that position. I hope you're doing okay. I know we only met that one time at the 
Mania after party, but I was watching SmackDown and saw my dear ex-husband Kane is back and coming for your title. I know the guy better than anyone who's lived to tell the tale. So if you want some friendly advice, let me know. That was Lita. William Regal says, are you alright? I suspected Miz would attempt... I don't even know how to pronounce that. But some summoning a creature as horrific as Kane simply to goose his numbers is low even for him. But best of luck, young man. Well, if I'm not mistaken, during the Attitude Era, Lita did marry Kane. If I'm not mistaken. But it was a it was a fake thing. It was kayfabe. Oh my gosh. Uh hey Dom. What's up? I know things started out rough between us going for the WWE Universal title. It was dog eat dog, but I get it, because it was just like that in the yard back when I was in the joint. Dude, you was in the joint for like, what? Two hours? And you think you some... I, uh, sure thing, man. Water under the bridge. This thing Miz has going on with you and Kane, it ain't right. But I think I might know a way you can take care of that big red freak. I am definitely open to some advice. Especially since I hear Miz is going to announce a title match against Kane. Glad you're willing to listen, but not here. Miz has got stooges creeping everywhere. You want my help with Kane? Meet me out in the parking lot. I'll keep that in mind. Lita actually offered to help me out too. Seems like you gotta make a choice then. Get help from Kane's old flame, or fight fire with real fire. Me. There's no way on this earth I would ever trust Dominic Mysterio with anything. I appreciate you, Dom, but Kane and Lita have history. I'm going to see what she has in mind. Suit yourself, but just remember, when Kane beats you down and takes your title, you could have prevented it. Too bad. Not with anything you had in mind. Like, you one of the biggest jokes in the WWE. After the shocking return of Kane, WWE Universal Champion will take on the Demon for the Gold, for the gold on Miz Smackdown Sweeps. Spectacular, but what condition will Mono be in? Hopefully terrible condition if that means we crown a new undisputed WWE Universal Champion. By the way, we call that the sweeps swerve around here. WWE Regal, take notes. Good one, boss. Troy, shut up, bro. Hey. Oh, man. Troy is, Troy is something else. I'll tell you that much. Riding the Miz's coattails like that. Lita, I appreciate you helping me out against Kane, but why are we going to Mexico? What does this have to do with anything? Listen, I got my start in Mexico, and I ended up wrestling in some pretty out-of-the-way places. Dark, dangerous places. Okay... So long before I came to WWE and met Kane, I encountered a similar monster out in the jungles of Lakanda. They called him La Llama Roja, or the Red Flame. Are you messing with me? Not at all. I made some calls that I found him. So we're going to Mexico because if you can survive the flame, you might be able to defeat my dear ex-husband. La Llama Roja? That sounds like a pretty big if. Great risks, greater rewards. Come on, let's go on an adventure, kid. La Yama Roja, the Red Flame. That sounds like, uh... What's the name of that lady that's, that's at the lake? Looking for her. What in the world? Lita. What is this? You know what? Roman wouldn't be afraid. And if Roman wouldn't be afraid, 
If I'm gonna be the tribal chief, I'm gonna have to fight monsters like this. Uh uh. Get off me. WWE, we gotta talk, man. Uh, 2K Games, we gotta talk about the striker. Get up, boy. The tribal chief has taught me no fear. And he, he said I should be able to beat this guy no problem, you know? That should be it right there. Not even a two count? Get up, boy. It seems like you're one of those that are big for no reason. What? Um. Okay. Get up off. What just happened? The last ride? Get up off. I don't know who you thought you used to be before you was born. Nah. Get up. Get up. Plant you down on your face, boy. That wasn't too difficult. Roman was right. You know, I had that in the bag. You know? Get on the chief for, for giving me some encouragement. You feel me? While rumors swirl that Manu has been spotted in Mexico with WWE Hall of Famer Lita, the Demon Kane awaits their WWE Championship showdown coming up next week on SmackDown. Training with Lita in Mexico? Seriously, that's your plan? Well, you're going to need more help than that because I'm making your match with Kane a casket match. Looks like the beginning of a new streak starts next week. See, I was trying to be cool with the Miz. You know what I'm saying? But it's up now. The red flame was everything you said, Lita. My whole body is basically a bruise. Lael Maroja is a legend, a monster. And as rough as you're feeling right now, <sighs> yeah. It's going to be worse with Kane, especially now that it's a casket match. Can't wait. If you beat Kane at his own game, It'll go a long way to earn the respect of the WWE Universe. And now you know the kind of effort it's going to take to do it. It'll take everything I got. And then some. Which is why when grit and determination aren't enough to put Kane in a casket, maybe you use a little something extra. Such as? Check your bag when you get to SmackDown. When you use them, tell Kane his ex says hello. Huh? Team Extreme, when I use what? Like, I don't have to use anything to beat Kane. Like, have you any idea who I'm is? No matter how many times I've seen a casket match, they still make Look at that tiger knee crazy. right to the jaw. Could you imagine being trapped in one of those? <laughs> That's a natural reaction, Cole, but here's the freaky part. Kane sees that casket and he gets excited. Did you see that? I grappled right through his body. He loves it. The champ hasn't faced anything like this in his career. Is this? The I grappled the right through his body. To rest. Escapes and a chop block takes him down. Oh man! Four club. 
Setting him up for the You know what? Undertaker was always better than you, boy. Well, not always. There was one time when he was a minister of darkness. Uh, that Undertaker was trash. But the, the, the zombie taker that first started out, the palm bearer, was always better than you, boy. Get up. Mm. Mm. Let me wrench that neck a little bit. Nah, you don't get the roll out of the ring. DDT. Use brass knuckles on Kane. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Sit back down, son. You know what? I need to open this casket up to get ready to put you in it. So you know what you need to do for me. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. And he'll leave the ring for this. Hold on for a second, bro. Yeah, go over there and open the casket up or something. Let me get up. I was not running, Roman. I was not running. He's burying elbows in the midsection. Well, I was not running away. I was trying to get to the ring and the camera changed angles. So. Vicious running knee lift. The big red machine is now under heavy pressure. The I got this under control, Chief. Weakness here. Capped off with a big one. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. Oh. Get up against that wall, boy. Stopping their opponent. Oh. Smash. What's wrong? What's wrong? Wait a minute. Hold up. Oh, boy. No! No! Uh-uh. Nah, get off me. I busted him open. Uh. I busted him wide open. Oh, you can't see it because his mask is on. Get up, boy. Get up. What? That's insane. Hey, hold on for a minute, King. And a double axe handle smash. Well, get up off me, boy. There. Into the ring again. Moves outside. What's the plan here? Heads out, and he has all the time he wants. So oh. Another one bites the dust to the champ. I don't want Ray, don't. There we go. Hit him with the brass knuckles. Get Kane into the casket. Boom, DDT. Get in there, boy. Wait, what? How do I throw him in there? There we the go. It's about to get very dark in there. Doing their best to try and Man, what? The it's impossible. Yo, like that's ridiculous, oh, man. That superstar. 
hell did they survive? That's ridiculous. And look, now he has artificial walking speed. And he's taking this to the outside now. He'll take things into the ring. Oh, vicious running knee lift. Boom. So what, am I not supposed to win? Am I not supposed to win or something? Oh no, into the casket! Close the lid and it's over! We've got a struggle on our hands to close the casket! Yeah, like... They may survive, they're fighting back! Ah! Disputed WWE Universal Champion laid Cade to rest once and... Now what you gotta say, Mr. Miz? What? Whoa. It's a no DQ match. It's Roman Reigns. Rob. The Chief. Congratulations. The Dark Horse manages to win another race. And I didn't even have to win it for you this time. Did you forget? You're only standing there because of me. The locker room hasn't forgotten. The WWE Universe has it, and they won't. You can hold my WWE Universal title for a year, two years. Why not three? It doesn't matter. You're just a tenant. I'm the landlord. You're holding something that doesn't belong to you because its owner has other interests. For now. Later, Chief. Was that really necessary from Roman Reigns? I detected no lies, Cole. Roman Reigns somehow just made I mean, a huge win for the WWE Universal Champion <laughs> feel like a loss. I didn't detect any lies either, you know what I'm saying? Like I I I never, you know, I never said that wasn't the case. I don't know why you 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 you're jumping down my throat. The WWE Universal Champion Mono is a dark horse no more. Defeating the Hall of Famer like Kane and in, in wait, defeating a Hall of Famer like Kane in cements his place at the top of the WWE pecking order. At least on SmackDown. In all seriousness, Mono's a fine man and a great WWE Universal Champion. I'm proud to see all he has accomplished in his first months as champion. Bravo. Yeah, man. I don't know why Roman trying to get on my case. Like, I ain't trying to upset the Chief. Like, nobody, nobody's disputing the fact that you helped me out. You know what I'm saying? Like, why are you trying to put me down? You know what I'm saying? Like, what did I ever do to you? But I let it slide this time. I mean, you are the chief. So I let it slide this time. You know what I'm saying? What's next, boss? You got Isaac Yankum in your contacts? <laughs> oh, yes. What a huge and impressive victory. Clearly, Roman Reigns was in awe of your incredible performance. Easy to talk smack from the sidelines, isn't it? The ego on you. You've been in the show for a hot minute, got a few lucky breaks, and all of a sudden, you think you're a legend? It's not about what I think. It's about what I am. And that's the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, whether you like it or not. But next week, the week after, the next PLE, Roman said it himself. You're just champion, for now. I don't care what Roman or anyone else says. You just keep setting them up, I'll keep knocking them down. I mean, Roman, I didn't mean that. I just had to say that for the cameras, you know what I'm saying? I got nine minutes. Like, the cameras, you know, I, 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 gotta, I gotta look strong for the WWE Universe, you know what I'm saying? So... 
The look on Mrs. face after I beat Kane was worth everything and more. Thanks so much, Lita. I'm a monster hunter from way back. Any chance to slay one from my past is a good one. Plus, you got a vol a vulner you got a valuable lesson. If I were dense and didn't get it, what would that lesson be? The lesson was cast in brass knuckles. Sometimes to beat the villain, you have to become one. I don't agree with that. Like, for Goku to beat Frieza, right? If Goku were to kill Frieza, he would not be a villain. That's not true at all. Like, I, I don't understand that at all. Uh, or maybe they said sometimes. So I don't know. Maybe there's a scenario out there where that is the case. But and after all was said and done, Becky Lynch won the WWE Women's Championship. The man is once again the man, and the WWE Universe could not be happier. The same can't be said on Raw, where the World Heavyweight Championship has been moving around like a hot potato. Well, if you want championship consistency, look no further than SmackDown. General Manager The Miz has been obsessed with dethroning the WWE Universal Champion, but the man many call the Dark Horse has now become the Workhorse, turning back every challenge. If he successfully defends the title against Drew McIntyre in a Falls Count Anywhere match at SummerSlam, he will have been champion for a full year. Speaking of championship streaks, Gunther will look to continue his amazing run as the longest running intercontinental champion of all time at SummerSlam when he defends his title. Seven minutes left. 360. What? 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 He really has had the short end of the stick for a lot of his time. Like his championship reign was during the era of COVID, so it was like in an arena with no crowds, no pop. You know what? Uh uh. Get up. The champion is just tearing away at the tendons and ligaments in the shoulder. Running knee lift. And McIntyre on the receiving end again. Drew and, and like, then he lost to Roman. He lost to Roman to the point where Roman was like, you can never try for this championship again. Matter of fact, He's I don't think Roman has lost the title since then. Like, there we go again, WWE. I mean, 2K. Hold on. Is, is the highlight real in here? No? Well, it is, but I can't use it. I just closed my... Okay, I only got five minutes left, so I can't... I'm going to have to hold my complaints probably for the next video. I got to try to finish this in five minutes, Drew. No, that's not what I wanted to do. You know what? Just but champions need to finish the job. No, he has resilience. He had resilience. I only got four minutes. He ain't got no choice. You know what I'm saying? These are dire 
straights for him. He needs to be extra cautious now. Down. For the win. There's two. And Got him. Stands tall once again. Three minutes go. left. How you gonna call it a fluke run? I've been beating people for 365 days. And let me not talk about Corey Graves, because I'll stick this dude in the mouth. With his SummerSlam victory tonight, the Dark Horse has ridden tall for a year. All hail Manu, our Universal Champion. Give me a break. How this tom tomato can. How this tomato can has held on to my universal title for a year is one of life's great mysteries. <sighs> That's okay. That is perfectly fine. I'm going to prove to the tribal chief that I am worthy of being a champion. So that's going to be it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And until next time, you guys know what to do. Look, man, it's the tribal chief. Come on now. But don't worry. I'm going to prove to him that I am worthy of being a champion. You know? But yeah, until then, you guys know what to do. Stay blessed.